Hello everyone and welcome to episode 211 of Animal Crossing New Horizons. In the last episode, uh, we customized some pumpkin items. Basically, that's it. <laughs> yeah, we didn't do that much in the last episode. Uh, anyway, in this episode, I really don't know what we're going to be doing, but it is going to be fun. And because I'm thirsty, I have some Snapple. I, I like Snapple. It's really good. I recommend it. Anyway, today's birthdays are Tex, who I have the card of, and Biddy, which I do not have the card of. Anyway, let's just start and get our island-wide broadcast from Is A Bell. For that, I'm going to take a little drink of snap. Anyway, there's Isabel. Let's talk to her. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Isabel. Right now on Jacktown, it's 9.54 p.m. on Tuesday, October 6, 2020. Hmm, there really isn't any news to speak of today. Hey, did anyone else watch that variety show on TV yesterday? stand-up comedian they had on was fantastic. I laughed for an hour straight. <laughs> it was kind of painful. Yeah, I, I, I would think it would be. Oh, dear. I guess there I go again, prattling on about my personal TV habits. Sorry, folks. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. Anyway. It's almost 10, which means the shop will be closing really soon, which means before we do anything, we have to go there. So I'll do everything I usually do after I go to the store, because it's closing really soon. There it is, let's hop inside and see what is inside. That was weird. I don't have a beard. Anyway. Ooh, good. Okay, so, um, uh, it is a spooky, there's a spooky lantern being sold here today. The reason this is really good is because uh, I bought a spooky lantern before and I used it for something that is not the spooky area. So now I have one for the spooky area. Anyway, candy. Let's buy one. So yeah, candy is going to be very important for the uh, Halloween when it comes. Anyway, now that all that store business is done, let's just do what we would usually do at the beginning of the episode. I really like my costume. I hope I don't forget how I looked before so I can change it back. You know, I might be able to, I might stay like this forever. It's it's nice. Never mind. I'm I'm not going to do that. Anyway. Two leaves in my front yard. Why? Well, I'm trying to get every CJ and Flick model so every time one of them come comes uh i have assistant and mom get me an extra model so i can get to that big full number of models faster anyway so that's why there is a sweet fish and a puffer fish model in my front yard let's check them out so sweet fish pretty cool it's uh, nice and green. I like green. Yeah, nice, nice, really nice. Anyway, puffer fish model. They better not mess this up. CJ better not mess this up. What I'm talking about is this better be puffed up. This better be a puffed up puff puffer fish, not deflated. That's not fun. We need a puffed up one. Please say this is puffed up. It is! 
is! Oh, yes, I'm so glad they did that instead of just doing a deflated one. It looks so cool. Anyway. Of course, I have one in the mail because, uh, of course, I would get one. And the one that I decided to get is... If you saw the last episode, you would have already known. But it is, uh... Ba -ba -da -ba -ba! Nibble fish! It likes to nibble, and it's a fish, and it's small, and cool. Alright, also in the last episode, uh, we got our first villager picture. Anyway, Clay was nice enough to send me a letter. Ah, oh, I can just imagine Clay reading this to me in, in just a second. Now. Hey there, buddy. Isn't this postcard pretty? I don't want to cover it up with too much of my writing because I think it is pretty and I should let you see it. That is why I am only writing a few words and then I am done. So pretty. Play. Anyway, see, that's nice. Yeah, it is a really pretty card. Anyway, uh, what I want to go and do... I said I'd get rid of all the boring cards off screen, so... Uh, so it doesn't end up deleting any of the good cards. I said I'd do that off screen. I didn't end up, so I'm just gonna do like uh, a couple Happy Home Academy ones now. And by a couple, I mean like three. Okay, there we go. Let's go inside uh, my house and put away some stuff so oh the time just changed anyway uh let's put away some stuff so uh what was i gonna say put away some stuff so right i have room in my pockets what else would i do it for anyway coconuts pumpkins Wood, white pumpkins, yellow pumpkins, the table lamp, which is very annoying. Not not the lantern, I need that. Definitely candy, sweet fish, puffer fish. I'll put the scorpion. Nibble fish. All right, and the extra spooky fencing I have. Okay, so there we go. All the stuff successfully put in storage. Now let us uh, start the day. Ooh, I crushed those flowers. How sad. Anyway, right. It rained yesterday, so some of my flowers should have reproduced. And it automatically watered my pumpkins for me. So, yeah, that's, that's really good. I didn't have to do that yesterday. Oh look, uh, I got a I got a new golden rose. That's cool. Anyway, new golden rose. That's cool. What sort of pumpkins have I got today? Ooh, I got a lot of cool pumpkins. I got some uh, whites and um, oranges. Yeah, oranges. I forgot for a second. How did I forget? I was literal. I was literally looking at them. Oh no! I didn't mean to take a prey the skeleton. Ugh. So here's the thing that is annoying. So you probably all know that flowers, like you have to pick them first. Like if you're. Uh... Oh, I didn't mean to pick that up. Okay, so. Um. Pump, like when when flowers when you're next to a flower and an item and you want to pick the item up it always picks up the flower first it like already oh it always picks the flower first but it seems like it's the opposite way around with pumpkins which is annoying because you want to pick the pumpkins anyway uh where should we put this spooky lantern? Where should we put it? How about right here? 
This looks like a nice place for a spooky lantern. Spooky! Ah. Anyway, let's water our pumps. I'm pumped to water my pumpkins. Anyway, it seems like, well, maybe it's just because I'm not using a golden watering can and I usually do. It seems like uh, less pumpkins get hit. Like, maybe this is just the, that I'm not using a golden watering can, but it seems like when I water flowers, there's so many flowers that get hit, but when I water pumpkins, less do. Maybe that's just, um, of course, the golden watering can or... I'm j I just, for some reason, got worse over time. Anyway. <laughs> this takes a really long time. Yeah, I probably should have done it in a normal patch. But, it's just so much better this way. It looks better. And it's cooler, and it's... It's a unique pumpkin patch. And I would rather have it unique than... Efficient. Honestly. If... I... Like, if you're watching this in the future, and I am applying for a job... And... You're watching my videos... Don't, 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 don't worry. This is just, that's just because this is, this is a game. I wouldn't actually do that in real life. Anyway, flowers. None of my flowers reproduced. Anyway, uh. Let's water these ones. These pumpkins. Oh, yeah. Today, okay, so today we're starting back up fun challenges. I've heard the fun, the king of fun has gotten me a fun challenge today. It's been a while since we've done one of those. Anyway, hello, king of fun. Long time no see. Well, hello there, Jack. How are you? Happy October to you. Happy October. Anyway, I'm ready for a fun challenge. Oh, you're ready for a fun challenge? Well, that's interesting because... I have a challenge of my own, and maybe I'll just have you do it. There's a new creature in town. We call him the Beast of Fun. Oh, so is the Beast of Fun causing trouble? No, no trouble. So, what what about him? Well, I want you to find him. Why? Because it's fun. Okay, so what do you want to do with the Beast of Fun? Oh, uh, we're going to put him in the cage of fun. Okay. You know, I know everybody. what everybody's thinking. Aren't most cages fun anyway? But this one is uh, especially fun. Um, okay. Uh, and another question. What is this beast of fun? Oh, that's the thing. Uh, well, I'm not going to tell you. And you're just going to have to figure it out. Oh. So that's the fun twist. Okay. So can I ask you a, the unexpected. Can I can I ask you a question about it? Uh let me let me consult. Hang on. Yes, you can ask me. Is a it question. this bug? Is it this bug right here? What kind of bug is it? It's a man faced stink a bug. Man faced stink bug? No, it's not that. Okay, here's my real question. Is it small? Relative to what? It is small. Relative like, to the moon. Uh, small relative to me. <laughs> yes, small relative to you. Okay, so I see a small thing. Can I ask? Oh, oh, oh wait, wait, I don't have a fishing rod. Ooh, balloon, balloon, right. Stop everything, balloon, that could contain... DIY for cool, amazing, ultra pumpkin item. Yeah. 
yeah, let's go over and get it. It's right there. Ooh, perfect! It should land in this one area that doesn't have flowers. Which is, which is good. Still have to wait quite a while. Okay. Okay, so I got it. I got this present. What is it? Please say it's a DIY. Oop. It's a piece of furniture, and it is a... Wait, what is this? What is this? I'm gonna have to go to an area that has, uh... Not a lot of flowers, but what is it? Throwback container. Oh, it's this. Yeah, I have this. It, it looks like a train. And I guess it's a container. I, I just thought it was called like a throwback metal train. Or something like that. Anyway, I'm gonna have to get a fishing rod. But where to find one? Well, I know, I know where I can find one. I, 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 I actually, I don't, I don't know where to find one, but I know where to craft one. At a crafting table. I'm thirsty. Okay. I'm good now. Wait a second. Small relative to me. Does that mean- oh. Um, does that mean, like, a lot of things are small relative to me. But... Like, I'm talking like small clownfish size or something like that. Don't you want to talk to that owl? Yeah, yes, I do, but I want to ask you this question first. Okay. And she, her name is Celeste. I know who it is. Oh, right. I forgot um, Nook Shopping. I have to see if there's if there's a new song, and there's not. Anyway. Uh, let, let's talk to her before you answer that question. Oh, good evening. Aren't the stars just exquisite tonight? Oh, did to try I almost forgot. I came across a recipe for an astronomical project in a book and jotted it down. How many astronomical recipes like do you find in books? Probably twelve. Do let me know if you try another it, would ya? Okay, what is it? Well, have a splendid rest of the night. I know I shall. Okay, what is it? Uh, is this it? Lunar surface. Lunar surface. What is this? Ooh, it's uh, it's like a flooring that looks like the moon. Ah, that's really nice. Anyway, um, is it like small clownfish eyes, or like, cause like a lot of things are small relative to me, like that horseshoe crab in the back, and even the ray, kind of. It's definitely smaller than a whale shark. That doesn't help! Whale sharks, I think they're the biggest creature in the game. Well, then you can rule those out. Oh, right, I forgot to pick up the sticks. Anyway. Five sticks! Pick up sticks! Okay. King of Fun. Yes, Jack? Is it like clownfish size? Somewhat. So it's like small compared to me. Okay, can I ask you one more question? You can ask. What, what, what type is it? Living. <sighs> that rules out the tin can, but... That's true, and the rock and the tire. And the boot, but... 
I'm asking like what type? As oh, no, in I think the boots are alive actually. I see them talking to each other when you're not looking. King of fun! Yeah! Is it a diving creature, a bug, or a fish? Yes it is! Thank you for asking! King of fun. Yes. Yeah. What is it? Diving creature? Fish? Bug? Definitely one of those. <laughs> King of fun. Yes. Yeah. Say watermelon if it is a bug. Watermelon if it is a bug. <laughs> oh yeah, what, what what was that face I was just making? <laughs> if it is a bug... What are you, so you're just trying to get a hint out of me? Yes! Where's the fun in that? <laughs> Please! Well, I'm not the king of hints, I'm the king of fun! <gasps> okay, can you find it in the ocean? Possibly. <laughs> I yeah, yes or no? Can you find it in water? Yes, but it would probably be dead then. Okay. Ooh, ooh. No, is that the beast of fun? Got away. Okay. Ooh. Message bottle. Is this message bottle the beast of fun? Nah. How big is it? I don't know. Pretty big. Iron wood dresser. Already have it. Oh, yeah, that's not a hermit crab. So, I have a suspicion that it's a hermit crab. Because, like, the hermit crabs in the game are land hermit crabs. Meaning that... They can only survive on land... That's right, they can only survive on land! And... Oh! Oh! Oh, oh no, no! <sighs> right, is this it? No, it's not even a hermit crab. Right. Are you, are you gonna... T right, n never mind, never mind. I was about to ask a stupid question, but I don't want to look dumb, so I'm not gonna say it. Is it rare? I don't know. I don't think it's that rare. And what are we talking about? The beast of fun? Yes! Good! Congratulations! You did something right, King of Fun! Anyway, there's still somebody, like a special visitor that is supposed to be here. Don't know where that special visitor is today. It's probably Gulliver and he's like on the beach somewhere. Celeste doesn't count? Yeah. The yes, this is Celeste doesn't count. She could possibly be here every day for an entire week. Oh, that's nice. I like that Celeste. So sweet. Anyway, I'm gonna look on the other beach for hermit crabs and Gulliver type villagers. She knows a lot about the stars. Have you ever talked to her about the stars? Cause she's always going on about the stars. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. Oh, it's Gulliver! He's right there, and next to something that could be a hermit crab. Yo. Yo ho! I didn't mean to shake that tree! I'm gonna stop talking in a piratey voice! Cause that is annoying! That didn't rhyme! Anyway. Let's go clean up that mess I made!
Okay, so I know it would be dead if it was in the if it was in the pond or in the water. And hermit crabs definitely could be that, so this could right here be what I'm looking for. Oops, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to hit you in the with the with the net, Gullivar. Ready the yard sale. Anyone seen the missing master? Okay, so yeah, that's not a hermit crab. Let, you know what? Let's just do the Gullivar, and then we'll uh, do the other stuff. Find the beast of fun. Okay, okay, I know, I know, I know. Acre the barnacles, navy, navy, navy the baby, and do the other stuff. Yeah, I know. Sea bass, C plus, horrible joke. And he's awake. Our Avati Cortez, three swords and a hook, let's make this a fair duel. I'll tie one wing behind me back. Our, I, huh? Blame me, what a dream. I was in the midst of a fierce pirate battle with one of my greatest rivals, Our. See, if it isn't Jack. Good to see your giant noggin again, Skipper. Sorry I came out swinging, didn't mean to give you a scare. Matter of fact, it was a few practice swings of me fearful fist to cuffery that sent me tumbling overboard. Now I gotta message me buccaneer buddies for another rescue. Sure hope nothing bad happened to me trusty old communicator. <laughs> yeah, something bad did happen to it. I mean, just, oh my gosh. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, 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 pro you yeah, 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 I know. The waves bash you around like an infl inflatable beach ball. I know. It's vanished. Gone and vanished. Arr. Those waves bop me around like an inflatable beach ball. The thing must have slipped out of my pocket. That means I'm not at sea. I'll have to wait for me pocket. You better find me out there. I can take quite a bit of time to work off some of me pirate puns. Oh, I, you with the whale sized nugget. Will you help it? Sure, I'll just look, 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 look for it. I'll look for it. Oh, I know. I'll be blundering my punderlin if I. If I, uh. I'm doing it with my I'll pockets full. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I've heard this like a million times, Gullivar. If that is your real name, I honestly feel like it's just Pirate Gulliver. I, I think that's a better name. You know what, Gulliver is a pun, so it's a, that's actually the better name. Anyway, so while I'm out at sea, I can't find the Beast of Fun because it would be dead if it was in sea, and, well, I don't think the diving creatures would be dead if they were in sea. Otherwise, they wouldn't be in the sea. Anyway, there's something fast moving. I'm going to catch it just in case it's something rare. It is an abalone. Abalone. Anyway. Let's stop with the musical number and find this poor seagull's communicator. And that is it. Got it. Before I give it to him, I really want to... What was I going to do again? All right. Catch that fish. Oh, I scared it away. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Makes me sad. I really wanted to catch that fish. It could have been a barrel eye. Like, 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 uh, pretend this is a barrel. This is a barrel. There, I'm a barrel eye. Looks exactly like that. Oh, is the beast of fun a barrel? All oh, right. Barrel eyes can't die if they're in the water unless something eats it, something kills it. Just, just whatever, like, wait a second, did you mean if it sets foot in water, then it would die, or, like, it could die in the ocean, because that's anything. I don't know, I was just riffing. Okay, so I caught a bunch of things. Are any of these the beast of fun? I caught a sea slug, an abalone, and an acorn barnacle. No. Nope. Is it a bug? Is it a bug? Can you just please tell me if it's a bug? 
You should have the king of hints that. Okay. He's standing right next to the beast of fun, so it should be easy to find him. What is the... The king of hints? I just made that up. That's, there's no real king of hints. Okay, Skullivar, I found your communicator. I found your communicator. Arr, to be specific. Arr, that's it. That's blah, 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 blah. I know, you, now you can uh, contact your faithful crew. Thank you, Miss Ombi Heart, mate. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Captain Mike says, "Captain, when Winky Face and you know, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. You saved my life, yeah, 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 yeah. Now I just gotta be mean and stuff like that. Boom. Gulliver in a nutshell. Ooh, tomorrow. Wait, I want to see how many times we helped. Uh. Gulliver slash Gulliver. Because the Nook Mouse achievement, it only goes... Uh, to 20. Then after that, doesn't tell you anymore. See, I want to see, uh, how far we are. In communicator parts. That's the best way to tell, because every time you help him, you get a communicator part. Ooh, so that's our 15th time helping him, which means only five more times until we get that sweet, sweet, sugary potato golden shovel my calculations tell me that we should get it in like November early November if we're lucky of course like something terrible could go on and could uh, miss out on that oh wait that could be a barrel eye it may not be the it may not have a chance of being the beast of fun but oh right he was just joking about that thing so it could be the beast of fun Wait a second, if it's a barrel eyed, will I have to uh, give it to you? If the creature's a barrel eyed, will I have to give it to you, King of Fun? Were you gonna put it in the cage? Yeah, like, if, if the Beast of Fun is a barrel eye, will I have to give it to you? Because I kind of want to use it to get a barrel eye model. No. That could have been disastrous. I could have missed out on a barrel eye. I mean, like, I could have lost a barrel eye that I that was rightfully mine. But he said it wasn't that rare, so it's not going to be the barrel eye. Is it a horse mackerel? It is not a horse mackerel. Can you at least give me a little hint? Please? Alright, it's a bug. Oh, it's a bug. I know. I'm just tired of watching you fishing all the time. Is it a moth? Ooh, I know. I know where I can find one of my suspicions. In the Halloween area. One of my suspicions is very likely to spawn in this Halloween area. <gasps> I hear one. There, there, that's one of my suspicions. Uh, it's right there. Is it a cricket? 
That was a good guess. That was one of the ones I was thinking of, but nope, that's not it. What do you mean, thinking of? Did you create the Beast of Fun? You'll have to ask the Beast of Fun. So... I know nothing, except for it's a bug and it's small. Is it around right now? Well, I hope so. Nookopedia says it is. That's anything. Oh, so Nookopedia. Okay, good. They're usually a trustworthy sir source. Source. So what other bugs are around right now? Did you take into consideration the time of the day? I did. Okay, so... Supposed to be an all-day bug. Okay, so all day. That's more information. Stink bug? Wait a second. Stink bug? Stink bug's going out after October, and so is the... Oh, God, no! I'm gonna miss the stink bugs. Anyway. Wait. man face stink bug is an all-day, but... Normal stink bug is. Citrus longhorn beetle is also. Tiger beetle is also. So it could be any of those three. Bagworm could be one, but that's pretty rare. I mean, like, I'm probably not going to find one. So hopefully it's not that. Okay. What were my three options again? Right. Flowers. I need to go to an area with flowers and just in case it's a stink bug. Then there's tiger beetle. I hope it's not that because I'm pretty sure they're not that common. Then there's a uh, citrus longhorn beetle. There's probably one I'm missing, but for now, those are my three suspects. And it has to be one of them. Or I will be very angry. When I get angry, I get cranky. When I get cranky, the video ain't so good anymore. <laughs> So many flowers and not one that has a bug upon it. How about we find our villager crafting and that should reload the area so more bugs could spawn. Okay, is it clay? Is it? It is! Okay, please clay have a Halloween item that you're crafting. Have it be a Halloween item. Sorry about the mess. But I ain't got time to clean today. What are you doing? I'm making me a spooky standing lamp. That was very weird. But I kind of liked it. Anyway. I, I don't care. I don't care. I just want it. Give it to me. Give it to me now. Spooky Teach me. Standing lamp. Got it all scribbled down right here. So just read this. If you want to customize that, the normal kits won't work. You gotta use a colored pumpkin instead. Ah, uh, so uh, he told me. If you don't have any different colored pumpkins, grow a whole bunch. You're bound to get a few. Anyway, let's learn this. I already have a spooky standing lamp, I'm pretty sure. But, now I can craft as many as I want. So I can cr customize them more easily. Oh yeah, I definitely already have this, but it doesn't look too hard to craft, so I can craft a bunch of them so I can get uh, all the variations. I like variations. A lot. Anyway, Bell Cricket, that's not out all day, can't be that. Okay, citrus longhorn beetle, tiger beetle, stink bug. Did I name it? 
Uh, I wasn't listening. Say it again. Stinkbug. Citrus Longhorn Beetle. Tiger Beetle. I wasn't listening. Say it again. Citrus Longhorn Beetle. Tiger Beetle. Stinkbug. Those are all excellent bugs. What were we talking about? Okay, it's fine. Whatever. You're not. If you're not going to give me any hints, then I don't want any hints. But if I gave you a hint, then you wouldn't want it, or you would want it. I would want it. Oh, okay. What I'm trying to say is, I don't need any hints. I gotcha. But if you want to give me a hint, give it to me. I don't know. I'll give you a hint if you think you're stumped. I'm not stumped. I just can't find anything. Citrus Longhorn Beetle. Oh, he's, he's, Clay is talking. I'm not, not Clay, Clyde. Hey, <laughs> I heard some folks have been calling you Champ. I really dig the way that sounds. Would it be cool if I called you Champ too? Go for it. Professor Pie. Oh, right, Professor Pie! Cool. I was hoping you'd say that. Now I feel like we're the cool kids, champ. He called me and Professor Pie. Aw, what, whatever. Like, I'm pretty sure some other people call me that anyway, but. Oh, it was so cool when Clyde called it to me. Called me that. I, should, I, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. We can still find this beast of fun! Gonna catch that beast of fun. Gonna catch it. Right now, gonna catch it. That beast of fun. Is it a bug or a cow? Gonna catch that beast of fun. Where could it be? Gonna catch that beast of fun. I don't know what rhymes with be, me, but I don't know really how to fit that into the song. I'm not wrong. It's hard. Well, wait, I thought that stick was a scorpion. <sighs> that scared me for a second. There are a lot of flowers up here. Nobody said it wasn't a scorpion, by the way. Oh, you said it was all day. Oh, okay. Scorpions, ain't not all day. Any back there? No. On where is it? I can't find it anywhere. Nah. Nah. Can't be a cricket. Is there a tiger beetle around here? Oh, there's a lot of flowers up here. There has to be one. There has to be a stink bug. That's the one I think it's going to be. That's just a cricket. I thought I scared it away for a second, but no, it's just a cricket. Nowhere. Come on. So yeah, the reason I think it's this is because uh, the King of Fun hasn't memorized all 80 bugs like I have. And Stink Bug is an easy one to remember. Because it stinks. Ew. Stinks a lot. Want to smell that stink? Stench. Ever forget it. Oh, oh, it's a violin beetle. Wait a second. I'm pretty sure that's all day. Just gonna check. Yes, all day. This could be it. It's small. It's a bug. And it's all day. Is the 
beast to find this violin beetle. That's the one you found it. Yeah, it was a violin beetle this entire time. And you know what they say. What do they say? I don't know. I thought you knew. <laughs> I'm my nut, bro. Okay. Uh, so this is the beast of fun you're looking for. What I was gonna for. say is that they say music has charms to soothe the savage beast, but it's not really beast. It's actually the quote is the savage breast. But I didn't want to call it the breast of fun because that sounded a little weird. So it's the beast of fun, and then he's a musician. He played the violin. Okay. So weird. Anyway, um, the beast of fun. Uh, it's gonna have to go in here, isn't it? You know what? It's kind of this. This. this, this it always bothered me that I put it in a bad position. So, oh, I assume this is the cage of fun, by the way. Yeah, that's the one. Always bothered it's me an that artisanal cage of fun. An artisanal one. Uh, trying to find the best way to flip it around. There, so uh, now we just put put the beast of fun in the thing. Yeah, you just do that. So how does the beast of fun feel about that? Beast of fun, do you, do you, uh, beast of fun. Oh, okay. I guess it's a singing beast of fun, too. No, he's not singing. He's playing the violin. He's playing himself? Um. No, okay. he has the violin, too. Okay, then why isn't he the musician of fun? Why did you have to throw him in the cage? <sighs> Just whatever. King of fun, you're being very weird this episode. Well, you shouldn't do episodes in the middle of the night if you don't want me to be weird. Okay, I guess that's kind of my fault. Oh, by the way, this... I just noticed this, this, this looks good. I'm gonna take a picture. <laughs> of course, I blink. I blink! Yep. <laughs> and I am half blink there. There. That looked look very there. Halloween y. Wait. Anyway. There. <laughs> Perfect. Mwahaha. <laughs> and by the way, don't say Halloween y. I've made that mistake too many times. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode. In the next episode, um. See, uh, we're going to, um, I, just, I need to think of, uh, see, um, uh, I don't really know what we're going to be doing in the next episode, but it's going to be fun. But anyway, thank you for watching this episode, and I'll see you next time. Good, goofy goodbye. I act weird too. Number two. <laughs>
I guess it's scary, but it's not really something I'm looking for. I already have one, and it's terrifying. <laughs> uh, that was all for nothing. <laughs>